Your last task for this course is to use your remaining time to experiment and add some more content to your page and you have the power to choose whatever you would like to add to it. Keep in mind that we have a rubric li listed here that just shows what a good course might look like and uh, some things that you might want to shoot for as you continue working on it. What you will need to do then is in our Dropbox we have it set up where you can give us an online text and also send us a, a file. Okay, for your online text, we just want you to list whatever course you are putting in there. So to get your course name, just remember that you're going to go to the top. This is basically whatever's up here is going to be listed as your course name. So you can just type that in for the online text part of the submission. And then for your online or for your file submission, what we want to do is see a picture. Okay, and if you're not familiar with screen capturing, what I'm going to introduce to you right now is the snipping tool. Okay, if you have um, Windows 8, your screen's going to look exactly like mine. If you have something else, it's going to look a little different, but you can basically do the same thing. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the Windows button, and if you have Windows 8, you can just start typing. If you have Windows 7, you just need to go in that little search box. Okay, in this case, I can also go to my search box up here and I'm just going to start typing snipping tool. Okay, I actually also have mine bookmarked to that front page, but I'm going to click that. And then you're going to have a little window that pops up. And what you're going to want to do is just make sure your Moodle's page is on the top layer and you can scroll down to something specific if you want to get grab a picture of it. But I'm going to then go back to my snipping tool and I'm just going to click new. You'll see that the screen gets grayed out, and then I'm just going to take a screenshot of my Moodle course that I have here, and it's automatically going to capture it. Okay. Then from here, all I need to do then is just do a file, save as. I can just say this is my Moodle screenshot. Okay, I'm just saving this to my desktop right now. And then now when I go into that assignment, I'm able to submit that document as part of my submission.